Good evening, everybody. I know it's Wednesday night. I'm not usually here on Wednesday night, but we've got a lot of special things happening this week. So this time I'm here on Wednesday to share with you this week at the theater. Oh my gosh, there is so much going on right now. Um, most of the nonprofits, which are a lot of your community theaters, are getting ready for the big day of giving, including SARTA. We're getting ready for the big day of giving too. Um, this program is brought to you by SARTA. SARTA is trying to really provide even more support for our local community theaters. So we're hoping that what we're going to have planned for you in the next few weeks is really going to be exciting. We've got some special guests coming. Um, we've got some special community conversations that we're going to share with you. So excited to do all of this. So Welcome to This Week at the Theater, sponsored by the Sacramento Area Regional Theater Alliance. Um, let's see, moving on from here. Oh, here we go. Hi there. You please visit our website, sarda.com, and take a look at our wonderful list of goodies that are going on. There's new things going up every week. We should have the information up there now for our scholarship program. This is something new, and I'm going to be bringing you even more discussion about that as we get a little bit closer to Big Day of Giving, because our Big Day of Giving focus is really going to be looking at promoting uh, the scholarship program and getting money together so that we can help our youth theater and our young people's theater groups have more spaces for more young people, more children, to be able to participate in community theater. It is such a growth experience to be on stage and expressing yourself and finding yourself in theater. And for those of you who grew up with this or have enjoyed it yourselves, you know what I mean. So help Sarah to do that. And like I said, I'll bring more to you later on as we're talking about that, getting a little bit closer to Big Day of Giving and we'll have some special events going on. Uh, speaking of special events, let's look at some of the others that are going on in our community. <gasps> Did I mention Big Day of Giving? I may have, but I'm going to mention it a lot and again because it's really, really important. Not just for us here at SARTA, but for all your community theaters who are participating and really just a general conversation for all of the nonprofits in the area that are looking to raise money on this very, very special day. This year, it's going to be on Thursday, May 5th. Yes, I know it's Cinco de Mayo. So while you're having a beer, go to the Big Day of Giving website, find your favorite uh, nonprofit, could be Sarda, that's okay, and make a donation and look at some of the other ones and make a few more donations. This is a marvelous time for you to give to support those local nonprofits. For us here at our stream this week at the theater, we're gonna start at 3 p.m. on that day. And fingers crossed, <laughs> we hold out. I'll have to drink some extra tea. We'll go until midnight, which is when Big Day of Giving closes down. Our goal is to raise $7,500 that day. Um, you don't have to wait till the Big Day of Giving to start giving. I do believe the um, donations open up on the 21st of April. So next week, you can start donating, going, looking at the website, figure out what, which one of these very worthy nonprofits you want to donate to, and start supporting them. So for our purposes, when we get ready to do our stream, we're going to have some special guests and I'm already getting some recordings together for that day. We've got people from different theater companies that are coming together to record some information, talk about what they do, talk about uh, all the programs they have, really ask you for your support on that big day of giving and we're going to support them by sharing some of that information with you in our community conversation. So we'll have a, a list of special guests that we'll have going up. We're going to play some games. I know that many of you look at Twitch and go, but I thought this was a site for gaming. Well, you know what? We're going to play some games with you. We're going to have some theater trivia games. We're going to play some Jackbox. we got to fill those times in there with something that could be interactive and we want you to come and play with us and make a donation. Uh, so special guests, games, community conversations, join us on May 5th, our big day of giving, and let's have some fun from 3 o'clock until midnight. 
So let's start looking at some of our other specials that are happening this weekend. Um, today's the 13th, so this is on Friday the 15th and Saturday the 16th. There'll be a short f uh, film being shown over at Celebration Arts Theater. And if you've uh, never been over there, I went just this last weekend. I got to go and see the Macbeth Project's presentation of A Midsummer Night's Dream. It was so much fun. Um, but for this, this is called I Remember Yesterday. And it's a film by Imani Mitchell. And it stars James Wheatley. And they're going to be showing it at the theater for an in-person premiere. So if you want to go to the uh, Celebration Arts website and purchase your tickets, you too can be a part of that premiere for I Remember Yesterday, which is based on a true story. Another special event going on, this is at Sutter Street Theater. And who hasn't always wanted to go to an Alice in Wonderland tea party? Well, on Sunday, April 16th at 4, um, they're going to have a production of Alice in Wonderland. And then it's going to be followed by a Mad Hatter's Tea Party. And characters from the play are going to be there to enjoy tea and crumpets with you and have a photo opportunity with you. The tickets are 20 to $25, and they are taking reservations online for that special event. So if you haven't already done so, go ahead and get your tickets at Sutter Street Theater. Dot com SutterStreet.com for your tickets or give them a call. Mad Hatter's Tea Party. You know that's going to be fun. We have another very big special event. The symphony is returning. I don't know about you, but it's been almost two and a half years now of not a lot to do when it comes to all of the amazing entertainment that we have had in our local community. And and the Sacramento Choral Society has been part of that for such a long time. And having them back to share with us again is going to be marvelous. So they are doing Verdi's Requiem uh, with Donald Kendrick as the conductor, Saturday, May 14th at 8 p.m. And they're featuring a world-class guest soloist. And this is in memory of Biba Caggiano. And I don't know how many of you had the opportunity to go to Biba's when it was open downtown but amazing food wonderful atmosphere amazing waiters and if you were in the restaurant Biba was probably going to come over to your table and say hello and ask you how you were enjoying your meal most cordial individual you ever wanted to meet Biba Caggiano so this is in her memory they're going to do Verde's Requiem Saturday, May 14th at 8 p.m. Get your tickets for the Sacramento Choral Society and Orchestra's presentation of this. Now, we have a couple of things that we want to go to because we've got some help wanted um, situations that have come up. And for many of you theaters, if you've got uh, needs that you've got, you need everything from tech folks to directors to just support people for your program. Let us know so we can advertise it and let people know about it and see if we can get you some bodies in there to help you put on amazing theater. This is for the Woodland Opera House. They need a couple of spaces filled. They need a summer camp educator and they need an outreach educator. So let me share a little bit about what each of these does and then you think you have these requirements or you can meet these needs, please contact the Woodland Opera House. Uh, so. Outreach, I will start with Outreach Educator. Um, let's see, they're looking at for a talented and proactive individuals for their theater and dance annex outreach program. These positions are part-time and represent the uh, Woodland Opera House off-site at local elementary and middle schools in the community. So if you enjoy going out, meeting new people, talking about the programs, getting the young people signed up for this, this might be a great position for you. This position may also have an opportunity to serve as an office backup when needed at either the box office or 
TADA for more hours. So there's an opportunity for you to, you know, get extra hours in on this too. They do have more than one position available. So they're looking for a couple of people who would be able to do this. So don't think, oh, there'll be lots of people applying. They're hiring more than one position. So this might be a great opportunity for you to get in there uh, as an outreach educator. Now, let me share the next one because they're also looking for summer camp educators. Uh, they said the Woodland House, Opera House is seeking experienced theater educators. So if you've got some background in this, it's going to help you for their annual summer camp program called Showbiz Kids. This position will work with staff and students to teach classes, musical choreography, acting, staging for a fully produced musical review. Typically with these summer camps, you start out and you work your way all the way through and the culminating experience for this is to put on a show. So know going into it that that's exactly what you're going to do. It, under the job details, it says you're responsible for attending all classes, rehearsals, and performances. And the performances are going to be July 15th and 16th and 17th. So you're going to be working for three weeks and then the fourth week is tech week and, and time for a show. So if you think you could do this, if you've had some experience doing this before, they're looking for summer camp educators out at the Woodland Opera House. So get your applications in for those amazing positions. All right, folks, I tell you this each week, get your resumes and headshots ready because it's time for auditions. So In the Heights is gonna have auditions on Sunday, May 1st. I know it seems odd that we're already talking about auditions in May, but you know, we're halfway through April already, so it's coming up very quickly. So this is going to be at the Theater and Dance Annex out in Woodland for in the Heights, the, the show will run in August, from August 5th to the 28th. So this is going to be into the summer that this is going to be happening. In the Heights, if you've never listened to the music for this, you need to. It's an amazing show, and I've seen it a couple times now. Woodland Opera House has a number of different things going on out there, so I've always got to tell you about their opportunities this is for their youth theater. Godspell Jr. is going to have auditions coming up. So these are uh, performers between the ages of 11 and 18. 11 and 18. They're going to be auditioning June 4th at the Theater and Dance Annex out in Woodland. Uh, dance auditions are in the morning and then vocal auditions you're going to have to make appointments for for Godspell Jr. Uh, so this is something that you want to do again Saturday, June 4th. They're going to have the auditions for this. It's directed and choreographed by Andrea St. Clair, the education director, and uh, just an amazing talent all on her own. So get out there and mark your calendars for the auditions on June 4th for Godspell Jr. And if you're interested in being part of their elite ambassador performance group, they're doing Broadway Bound. So save the date for those auditions also at the Woodland Opera House. They're auditioning on May 24th for the dancers and May 25th for the vocal auditions. So whichever one you're going for, mark your calendar for those auditions for Broadway Bound out at the Woodland Opera House. More auditions. This one is for Placer Repertory Theater. They're going to do seasons auditions. And what a lot of theaters will do is have what they call a general audition and have everybody come in and then they sort of look over the actors and decide, hmm, we're going to do these three shows or these four shows this season and I think you'd be good for this show and this person be good for that show. So you could get cast right there. So Placer Repertory season is, is holding their open auditions and they're getting the schedule together now. They're going to be in Roseville and Lincoln, California on Monday, April 11th through Saturday, April 16th. That's the reason this is still up here is because even though it started on the 11th a couple of days ago, it's going through the 16th. So you still have time to get in there and get your um, uh, uh, your headshot and resume in for an audition. Placer Repertory Theater welcomes all ethnicities and gender identities. So get in touch for your audition for their upcoming 2022 season. 
more auditions happening. This one's going to be up in Volcano. It's on Sunday, April 24th, and again on Monday, April 25th at the Cobblestone Theater for Agatha Christie's The Mousetrap. Wonderful, wonderful mysteries. I love Agatha Christie uh, mysteries, and The Mousetrap is one of the ones that's been performed quite often. Uh, they're looking for three women and five men, ages 25 to 70. Quite a range. So this is going to be performed in June. Again, the audition dates are April 24th and 25th at the Cobblestone Theater up in Volcano. Get in touch with them and have your headshots and resumes ready. All right, let's move into our now playing. We've got a fair few things that are uh, showing right now. It's going to be exciting. Um, until April 24th, you can go and see The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe at Sutter Street Theater. And this is Saturdays and Sundays at 1 p.m. They've got matinees for this. It's a lovely uh, young person show. The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe at Sutter Street Theater. This is the final weekend for Godspell, also at Sutter Street Theater. It'll be closing this weekend. It's playing Fridays and Saturdays at 8 p.m. and then again at Sundays at 4. So if you haven't had a chance to go and see it yet, this is your last weekend. Get your tickets for Godspell up at Sutter Street Theater. Still playing, uh, I should say now playing, it's going to be opening this weekend. It opens on the 15th and it's playing at the Uli Theater downtown. The Artist Collective presents their production of Strange is Love. Strange is Love down at Uli Theater downtown. Pardon me, it'll be playing from April 15th through the 30th. So you can get your tickets at the emhboxoffice.com website for this amazing show, Strange is Love. We've got a lot of things that are coming up. Um, one of the things that we're looking at is it's nice to get packed to the theater finally. So coming soon is getting packed. There's a lot of production going on out there. So let's take a look at what we have. Sacramento Theater Company has two different productions that I wanted to get in here and share with you. Um, they're welcoming back to the stage Nicole Sterling and she's going to be in their upcoming Mamma Mia in Concert production, which is going to run Friday, April 22nd through Sunday, April 24th. Just that one weekend for Mamma Mia in Concert. If you enjoyed the music uh, from that show, you want to make sure you get your tickets for that. And then they're going to come back with Clue the Musical. Who knew they made a musical out of Clue? So. This is kind of a fun interactive one because they've got it that the first person to solve the mystery each night will win two passes to the Red Door escape room. Have you ever done an escape room? Those are kind of cool. You really all kind of have to work together to figure out what's going on and how to get yourself out of there, but it's great fun. So you don't want to miss the musical with over 200 possible endings. That's a lot of ways that this could turn out. Sounds like fun. So solve the mystery of who, what, and where. This is running May 6th through May 22nd for Clue, the musical at Sacramento Theater Company. Why Save the Rainforest? You could go and see the production of Soon the Rains Will Come. It's going to be opening May 6th and playing through the 14th. And it's a youth and little ones production directed by Topeka Vaughn. This is at the Roseville Theater Arts Academy out in Roseville, looking at, you know, our next steps. Why save the rainforest? Because it's so important for us as humans to survive. So take your, take your little ones and your bigger ones out to see this production of Soon the Rains Will Come. April 23rd, at 8 o'clock, Winters Theater Company is celebrating spring with a really big performance of short plays and music. Um, this is going to be at the uh, Winters Historic Opera House. I'm always talking about the Woodland Opera House being a historic place, but Winters has a beautiful historic opera house also. Um, and so Spring Fling Pop-Up Show is going to be playing there. Get your tickets now 
for this special production at the Winters Theatre Company. Coming to the Cobblestone Theatre in Volcano, starting April 22nd and playing through May 15th is your production of Love Letters uh, by A.R. Gurney. And this is uh, going to be produced at, by the Volcano Theatre Company and Ace Hardware of Jackson and Plymouth. You know, our community support is so important and I really love it when the theater theaters in those communities get the support of the local businesses and things like that. It's not inexpensive to put on plays and productions. There's so much that goes into it. So, you know, when we ask for money or tell you about the big day of giving, we're not kidding. These, these theater companies couldn't do this without your support and without your help. So we're asking you to, you know, not only support by getting a ticket so you can have a, a wonderful evening at theater, but consider if you've got a business, how you can help further support some of these uh, small theater companies and all these people who do this for the love of theater. Nobody's getting paid, you know? Uh, very few people are making anything off this and, and what little they do make, they may, you know, pass over to musicians or something like that. But understand, these people are doing theater for the love of theater. So anytime you can get out there and help them, it would be great. The Treehouse Players are putting on a production of The People's Trial of Golden Aloysius Locks. This will be showing from April 30th until May 15th. Um, and this will be a wonderful opportunity. They're going to have sign language interpreters uh, there on the May 14th show uh, for their performance. So you'll be able to have uh, live translation as this is going on. The People's Trial of Golden Aloysius Locks, coming soon. Here's another one that's also coming through. This one's soon. This one's called Native Gardens. This is going to open on April 30th. Um, this is a, a production by a staged reading of Native Gardens by Karen Zacharias, and it's going to be their first in-person event since 2019. Again, it's been, what, almost two and a half years since we've been able to see each other. So they're going to have a reception at 6 and the performance at 7 on May 1st. The reception's going to be at 1 and the performance will be at 2. Uh, this is going to be in Woodland, California, Native Gardens by Karen Zacharias. Coming soon to Placer Community Theaters, Murders in the Hair. Yes, hair. Spelled that way for a reason. It should be very entertaining. This is a bit of a comedy, Murders in the Hair, Placer Community Theater. This show is running May 6th through May 16th, and we want to encourage everyone to come out and enjoy the production. They did let us know that they do still have all of their COVID um, protocols in place, and this is something that we've talked about at many of the community theaters. When you're sitting in the theater next to someone, there really is no social distancing, so many theaters are still checking vax cards and checking temperatures sometimes and definitely asking people to please keep their masks on for the benefit of both the audience and the actors so we're not quite out of all of the woods yet when it comes to this so let's stay careful and we can continue to enjoy our community theater murders in the hair all right coming soon to resurrection theater is one called Sleepers. This is going to open on Friday, April 22nd, so it's, you've still got another week. Get out there and get your tickets early. And it's going to run Fridays and Saturdays at 8 uh, for four weekends. It's going to be playing at the Wilkerson Theater. This is in the 25th and R Street Complex downtown, um, Midtown Sacramento. They can't wait to see faces in the audience, it says. Uh, this is called Sleeper by Catherine Butterfield. Empire Arts Collective presents As Above, So Below. This is a play directed by Lily Tanner and produced by Empire Arts Collective, and it's brand new play. It's an original work created by an ensemble of actors and writers. So this was a collective piece that got put together. Um, 
And as you can see on the slide, it shares that they're using a mythic lens to explore what it means to be an emotionally integrated person, both as an individual and as a member of a community. Um, some soul searching here. So a little depth to our theater going. As above, so below. Visit theempireartscollective.com to get your tickets. Coming to the Lincoln Theater Company, this is another classic comedy, Noel Coward has been one of our prolific writers from the back in the day. They're doing Blythe Spirit, and this is directed by Maggie Upton, another uh, Ellie Award winning uh, director and actor in our community. Uh, they have matinee performances on May 20th and June, it's running May 20th through June 5th at the Lincoln Civic Auditorium. So you can go online and get your tickets or call them up for Blythe Spirit. Here's a fun one. This is going to be Madagascar, a musical adventure. From April 22nd through May 8th, uh, you can see this production of Madagascar, a musical event. It should be great fun. It's going to be out at the Woodland Opera House. Performances are on Fridays at 7.30 and then Saturdays and Sundays at 2 o'clock. And you can get your tickets from the box office. So make sure you get your tickets and get out there so you can move it, move it with the rest of these guys at Madagascar, a musical adventure. Coming to Celebration Arts, Living Fat. This is a play by Judy Ann Mason and it's directed by Michael Benjamin. And this is going to be performing from May 6th through the 29th. Tickets are on sale now at the Celebration Arts website for Living Fat by Judy Ann Mason. I hate Shakespeare. I love the title of that. This is by Steph DeFray and directed by Blake Flores. And the performance dates for this are Fridays and Saturdays at 8 o'clock. Starting run is April 22nd and it will be playing through May 15th. So if you want to have some fun with Shakespeare, go see. I hate Shakespeare. Okay, I think we're getting down to the end. Uh, let me see if I have anything else on my list down here because sometimes things come through and they end up in our newsletter and not always on here. But I think I got it all this time. Yes, I did. Look at that. Oh, we've got one more coming soon that I could tell you about. It's not happening until June, but what the heck, we may as well let you know. Bye Bye Birdie will be coming to the Woodland Opera House in June. June 17th through July 10th, they're going to do a production of Bye Bye Birdie. Uh, I still remember this from the old movie, Bye Bye Birdie, and it was great fun. So it'll be wonderful to see the, um, the stage play if you have a chance to go see that. Okay, I think, yep, I do believe that's it. So please, if you haven't done so already, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter. You'll be following us around a lot. Follow us right here on Twitch. Click the little follow button and, and follow us here. We'd love to hear from you and be able to say hi as you, as you check in on this platform. We also have a donation button here, so feel free to donate to Sarda. Um, Sarda Theaters would appreciate it. We are a theater community, community theater support group, which means we're out here trying to look for ways we can support all of our theaters in the community. Um, we're looking at opening up pretty soon a theater stipend program from us so that theaters that need um, extra support, extra monies, things like that can, can apply to us. You know it costs money to buy the rights for these different shows that they do. They don't just go pick up some scripts and go, oh, I think we'll do this show. They have to pay for that. It costs money to be able to, you know, rent a theater. Not everybody has a theater in their back pocket. If you do, please let us know. We know several theaters, theater companies who would love to have a place to be, a permanent place to be. Um, you never know who's going to have those connections in the community. So this is why it's important for us to do this networking so that you can see 
how many people are out there doing amazing things in theater how many people are out there that have a need that maybe you can help fill and it's not always just about money maybe you can go and volunteer help them build sets help them make costumes help them at the box office help them picking up and and, and breaking down setting up and breaking down um for me, that's some of the most fun parts of doing this is watching all the things that go on in the background so that you can come and sit in the seat and see a finished play in front. But all of that takes money and time and people who are willing to dedicate to that. So if you want to help us help them, please follow us and please donate and please be a part of all of that at Sarda.com. Uh, just a reminder again about the Big Day of Giving coming up on May 5th. Well, again, we will have special guests. We're going to play some games. We're going to have some community conversations. We're going to start at 3 in the afternoon, and oh my goodness, we promised we'd go until midnight, so we'll see how we do, okay? All right, everybody, we're about ready to wrap it up. Visit our website, and from Sarda, I'll see you at the theater. Bye, guys.